Okay, so I've got my pattern all copied or traced and numbered. I don't have the green direction on it yet. But a couple things I wanted to point out. Um, why I use carbon paper is because if I want to modify it at all at this point and change a line, my layout paper is going to match it. So instead of me making a couple copies, um, this is going to ma match it exactly. Um, you'll also notice under every number here, I put an underscore because some numbers can be two different numbers, like six, eight, upside down, um, things like that. So I just have gotten in the habit of putting a little underscore under every one of my numbers. So, the, oh, look at there. I forgot a couple. That always happens. So I have my final number, I usually try to end up down here, 234. So if I put 235 and 236 up here, 37, 38, it's not going to match as I'm trying to find where these go in the pattern. And I put them um, through there. So I'm just going to pick a number next to it. 77 is a good number. I'm going to do 77A, 77B. Where am I? There we go. 77C, 77D. And that way, they're kind of in the general vicinity, but I've got them numbered differently so that I know where they fit. And I'm sure as I'm cutting this out, I'll find another one or two that I missed, and I'll do the same thing. I'll just put an A or a B. There's another one. So I'll do, that one's right next to 118. I'll do 118A. No big deal. Just so you know where they are going. And believe it or not, if you take a picture of things and, and look at it in a picture, sometimes it's easier to see that you miss something than it is just looking at it with your eyeball. Or turn it upside down, stand upside down with it. Um, you also notice that I've done something kind of weird on this shape. These are really thin little stems coming from the flowers. And I'm actually going to kind of sculpt them a little bit and probably make this a little even thinner than what it shows there. So I decided I'm just going to do some type of overlay with it or um, I'll probably do an overlay versus paint. But I don't want to cut all these really thin lines. They will either break when I'm cutting them, break when I'm grinding them, break when it's hanging in a window a year later, whatever. So I could, um, this is a little bit of a funky little area here, I could put a break line in that just follows that and add a piece or two. But what I've decided to do, I'm just going to make one piece out of this, and that's why I've only got number 12 there. And then I'll add my overlay or decorative solder or something, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. After I get this cut out and I decide I do want a break line there, or maybe it's just a little funky, um, I can go ahead and, and add that in in my pattern piece, and then I just put 12A down here, which to me, this looks a little weird to cut. It'll probably want to break off right here, so I would be doing myself a favor if I just go ahead and add that line in. And I do um, keep a Sharpie, so if I do change something like that, I can just, you know, come in and and add that line in there so that I'm it's easier to follow that way as I'm cutting it out with my pattern shears. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my pattern, got it numbered, still have my original untouched. If I want to use it again, peel these layers back, and there's my duplicate copy of what I've been working on. So the next step then, I'll take all of this apart. I'll use regular pattern shears to cut out the border. And I want to double check one more time my dimensions. It says to build, build to 21 and a quarter by 33 and a quarter. And you can see on my sketch, this is the plastic window framing around the window itself. And then I've got my zinc. I'm going to use 3 8 inch zinc, so I've got my zinc line drawn there too. I'm just going to double check all of my figures one more time before I start cutting this apart. 
So, there's step number one. And again, I've got my green direction to go, go with. And honestly, this is my favorite box right here. Because what I've got, <laughs> white out. I will green direction again with the color. So if I've got some leaves here, I know I want this to green direction. Do I have any lid on that? Green direction that way. This is going to come this way. This will come this way. Same with these. Um, oops, can't see what I'm doing there. This way. So I'm going to go through real easy, quick and easy and just green direction everything. So when I pull up my piece of glass, it's going to be a lot quicker and easier for me to know that that goes onto a green. Of course, I don't have any greens down here right now. Pink. I'll pull a pink. Okay, so if this is going to be my pink flower, I'll know that this is green direction pink. And it just makes it a little easier and faster for me to sort through things. And I think that's pink too. I think these are all the same color. Okay. So copy your pattern using carbon paper. Number all of them and green direction everything. So that's what I'm going to finish, do next. And honestly, I've only got maybe half hour into it so far. Not counting creating the pattern. So I'll see you in a bit.